Wilhelmina Barnes Graham was a 20th century British artist who lived in St Ives for most of her life from 1940 till she died in 2004. But she was born in Scotland and studied at Edinburgh College of Art in the 1930s and also had a house in Fife from the 1960s onwards so she divided her time between Scotland and Cornwall. She made her name in the early late 1940s with a series of paintings based on a trip to the glacier in Switzerland and then spent the rest of her life as a professional artist working between figuration, landscape and abstraction. This exhibition shows Barnes Graham's work from 1935 when she was still studying at Edinburgh College of Art through to the early 1970s and charts her progression from a figurative painter of the landscape to a pure abstract painter in the 1960s. The development of the exhibition took over 18 months nearly. As the director of the Trust, I'm always interested in other curators choosing works and being involved in the process. So it's not always me and the Trust developing the show. So I handed over a long list of pictures for Lizzie Jacqueline to choose from. And Lizzie came up with the idea of breaking the sort of general chronology of the show by having a themed room, which is a room which is all red paintings and red themed. And that was a really interesting and an original idea, which I'd never thought of before. That was one of the main interesting curatorial developments, I suppose, for the show. I've got two particular favourite paintings in this exhibition. First is three rock forms from 1951 which is a beautiful sort of blue-tinged seascape, but it brings together her interest in landscape painting, which was she was moving away from and her early stages of becoming an abstract painter. And it brings the two together in a sort of perfect amalgamation of that stage of her career. The other painting I particularly like in the show is Burnt Orange Discs on White, number one, which is from 1972. It's the last picture in the show and I really love this picture because of the subtleties of the colour and the sort of just the joy in the composition. It's made up of circles kind of bouncing around a white canvas and it just kind of speaks of the pleasure in painting and making a composition. One of the, my favourite uh, parts of the process of putting this particular exhibition together has been finding some pictures which haven't been shown for a long time. Because we've got such a large collection, we only tend to get framing and conservation done on particular works if they're going on exhibition. So we've managed to get three or four new frames made and things cleaned specially for this exhibition. So it's nice to see certain pictures kind of refreshed and looking as, as good as they can, particularly for this show. I really hope audiences after they've been to see the exhibition will have a much greater understanding of, of Barnes Graham's early career. Lots of people might know one or two paintings by Barnes Graham, but it's a rare opportunity to be able to see her development over this important period in depth. So I hope people really enjoy the exhibition, looking at the works, uh, but take away a, a newfound interest and understanding of her work.